क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव फॉर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर्स ह्यूमन्स हैव यूज डोमेस्टिकेटेड गोड्स कैप्रा हिरकस टू क्लियर लैंड ऑफ अनवॉन्टेड वेजिटेशन वेन इट कम्स टू देर डाइट्स गोड्स आर नोटोरियसली ब्लैंक दे विल डिवावर ऑल काइंड ऑफ श्रब्स एंड वीड्स लिविंग वर्चुअली नो पार्ट ऑफ एनी प्लांट अनकंज्यूम्ड विच चॉइस कंप्लीट्स द टेक्स्ट सो दैट इट कन्फॉर्म्स टू द कन्वेंशंस ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश so a has indiscriminate and b has indiscriminate comma c has just indiscriminate with no punctuation and d has indiscriminate with a colon so which should we choose so if you say d well done that is the right answer choice d is the best answer the convention being tested is punctuation used between two main clauses In this choice a colon is used correctly to mark the boundary between one main clause which starts from goats are notoriously up till indiscriminate and then we put the colon and to introduce the following explanation of goats non discriminatory behavior when it comes to what they eat and after that when you put the colon and then they describe it they will devour all kinds of shrubs and weeds leaving virtually no part of any plant unconsumed choice a is incorrect because when coordinating two longer main clauses such as these it's conventional to use a comma before the coordinating conjunction furthermore the conjunction and fails to indicate that what follows is an explanation of goats non discriminatory behavior when it comes to their diets b is incorrect because it results in a comma splice a comma can't be used in this way to join two main clauses choice c is incorrect because it results in a run on sentence the two main clauses that is from goats to indiscriminate and then after that they to weeds are fused without punctuation and or a conjunction if we choose c so the best answer is d so